Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor. In this session, I will show you how we can delete a record in React.js using the .NET 7 APIs. Okay, now currently we have this application. We have seen how we can insert data, how we can edit on data. And now I will show you how we can delete a record. Now let me go to the React.js project. It is the project that we are using in this series. Okay, now here I have to update uh, to add one another row. I mean one another column for deleting the record. Okay, no, it's the column name will be delete. Uh, let me also add here one another table cell. Its text should also be delete. Control S and here we have get the button we can also add these things in one column but for the time for the simplicity i am adding two columns okay now here i will just send the item dot id for deleting the record now let me give a name for the function so delete product record okay control c and here i have to add a function constant the control v it will be the function name okay and let me pass the id of the product as a parameter to this function uh, and here i have to check if the id is null then i will not i mean call the api if id is undefined or if id is less than one then i will show an alert Uh, invalid id please try again okay and i will return return false at the moment for my document else i will move to the api call now let me copy this code okay and you I have to make this function async okay and here I have to call the delete product API delete product okay no I have to pass the this as a param Okay, and here I will only supply the product ID. I mean this one. Product ID. Let me copy. Okay. Okay. And I will pass here. Now for the time, let me first create the delete API. Now go to the API project close this one and also close this one and this one now here i have to edit to add the delete api now to the delete api functionality is very simple just copy this code and paste here okay now this basically uh, the delete api code let me remove this one and here I have to give the root. I mean the route. The route name is delete product and I will pass the ID. The function name will be delete product. Okay. And uh, I will first find a product with the ID. And then I will remove these from the database and here i will return ok
copy now let me copy the url go to the react project mm, and here i have to give the url this product and i think i can pass here the param like in this way and if response is not equal to undefined and data is not equal to undefined then i will show the alert record deleted successfully and i will also refresh uh, refresh i mean the list Format the document. Now, first of all, I will test the API, and then I will call from the React project. Okay. Now, let me go to the Swagger. Refresh, and here I have the delete product. Try it out. Give the ID of a record. Now, let's suppose I let me refresh the page. Sorry, I, I let me refresh the query, and here I have a row with an uh, with ID 10. No, I want to delete this one. 10, execute, and the record is I think deleted successfully. Let me see again. Okay, it means that API is working successfully because I have tested successfully from the Swagger. Uh, no, I have to call this API from my React code. Okay. Uh, now let me go to the React. Refresh the page, and I have to click on. I'm, I want to delete this one. Delete. No fail. It's giving me some error. Unload. Okay. Okay, let me go to the React code again. Uh, it is a basically the, the, the API type is post. Now let me try with post. Refresh again. Click on delete. So why I am getting this error? Control F the api type is post uh, let me also put here a debugger no i have to close the project run again in this way i just want to see whether the debugger is hit it successfully or not okay no i have put here the debugger and let me run the project again okay mm, like in this way yet refresh okay click on this okay now i have successfully get the hit basically i am getting the id as zero that is why the record is i think not uh successfully so to handle this let me put here a debugger in this place debugger okay Control S Delete record base URL post okay. Now let's be refresh again. I have to inspect. Click on this one. I am getting the correct product ID. Param. No, I think I am passing the data in an incorrect way at this time so to handle these i have to pass the id either like directly with the parameter so let me
try this one i am getting again the id is zero no i have to uh, try like in this way let me go to the api project read the card okay I have to if I directly pass the ID let's see see let ID is equal to this one let me just try remove this one okay you know i will just pass the id let me just try okay click on delete okay and i am again getting zero in the param no let me try in this way because I am getting some kind of error. Okay, product product. Uh, pro, I will pass the product dot id. Question mark. Use this one. So okay. If product is not equal to null and in product dot id. go to definition yes this one if not equal to null why i am getting an error product may be null okay i know and Product dot product dot id is greater than zero. Then perform this else. Okay. and id is equal to convert dot to int product dot id and let's pass this id inside define async function para control s and run the project again okay no i have to pass here like in the previous way yes like in this way control s uh, refresh the react project page okay no let's me click on this one request fed with status code 400 i think i am doing again some mistake Mm, it will be a post method param and the id should be product id read product okay http post
Okay, no, this is copy. These two property also. And I will assign empty for the time. Zero. Control S. And I have to hit the API again. I think I have to see the, the exact reason to the same let's fill in the project again what kind of error I am getting uh, if I just try out it and lets me pass an empty string and I have to delete record with ID 8 execute error status was 400 the name field is required oh god i am doing a big mistake now i have also to provide a name field okay so for this i have to just add a new class uh, add class delete product dot dot cs okay and here i have to add one and another only one property public string product id okay it should be integer delete product control s and delete product product dot product id okay let me remove this one because it is not null then i have to convert to product id and here in uh, uh, save this run the project and here i have only to pass you no know, the product id remove this copy this one and this okay now we have simply i have only one uh, parameter I mean one property of the class and here if I show you I have one property inside the class now the project is running now let me go to the app to the regjs click on this one I have get it hit on the API and let me show you the product ID with one next okay the record is successfully removed okay record deleted successfully let me delete this one let me delete this one okay and let me delete this one okay now it is basically the way to implement the delete functionality in ps using the dotnet 7 apis uh, I will suggest you to first show an alert for example I click on delete then show an alert and in the alert show a message to the client do you want to delete this record and then give two buttons yes no when the client click on yes then call the API if click on no then just close the pop-up and don't delete the record as currently I am directly deleting the record when I click on this but it is not a good practice so thank you for watching the video goodbye at this time